beneath the lights and before a packed out Comunale de Manigo. Here we go. It's Pucciariello who gets us underway and picks out the newly named coach, Captain Hart, who can only watch as the ball squirts from his fingertips, and it's an immediate... Scotland on the scramble. They've held them out for seven long minutes now. It's messy on the floor, the snipe was there, the read was there too. Ball is back. Still with the Azzurini, there's the dive, there's the try. Treviso's on its feet and Italy strike first. You can just see the patience there from the Italians. What a brilliant, brilliant spot from Greasy. And, you know, they, they've built the phases there. They put Scotland under a lot of pressure and they've striked while the iron is hot. Mm -hmm. He's really having to excavate that one, it is Jimenez. But finally, the ball emerges, charged down, ball grabs, ball dotted down. That was absolutely brilliant from Scotland. You could see them really looking to play for territory and it's paid off. I think the composure around that breakdown and the intent to, to get over that ball was incredible. It was well read, well timed, and they have come away with a try. Advantage there he is again with the cute little tip on pass. Oh, the hands from Thompson are divine. Scotland have an advantage. advantage they might not ball. need it. It's a slide and a dot down, and that is a screamer from Scotland. Swerve a wooden spoon, and they're not just swerving spoons, they are swerving Italians. That was divine. Yes. Scotland just have so many options there. They're running deceptive lines, they're creating gaps. That back inside created even more space on the width. So to be able to get that offload away was just incredible. Italian tails are up. Here is Zucconi. Back fit and fighting after his earlier twinge and now Volturi with a captain's carry 10 meters out now they can take the handbrake off here they've got a free hit balls plucked up and it's a gallop and a glide over and Piero Gritti has his second of the evening remember the name just the identification of space there was incredible. It was a complete open run, a pick through the ruck, but actually getting your timing right on picking up that ball, making sure there's nobody in and around that. He's brought down. Scottish bodies flooding to the breakdown. They know the urgency of this. The Azzurini up to tuck it and truck it, and they're oh so close now. Goes up. And for the first time in 50 long minutes, the Azzurini hits the front. Some extra, extra large sleeves being rolled up as the Azzurini go and hunt of a bonus point score. Tackle, release now, tackle. Every point matters. This is a congested table as things stand. Scalabrine is waiting, so too is Botso. But instead, they keep it with the big guys. One metre shy now, Italy. Bellucci is there too. But they won't meet him. That is the bonus point for Italy. And things are looking hairy indeed for the visitors. Great body height in that pick and go there. There's just no stopping him from that distance. He is so powerful and he dives straight for the line. Trundles towards the whitewash. 28 plays 14, but Scotland have been nowhere to be seen for the past 20 minutes. Blue jerseys crashing onwards, beating on a white shore. Ball goes wide. Delayed pass is cute. Baloney will cleave through Scotland's defence. You can see there with, with Pucciariello, Casilio reloads, goes again. That is a steepling kick, surely not gathered by Scalabrine. Oh my word! Marco Scalabrine deciding for just a few precious seconds that 
he would opt out of gravity this time around. Look at the height, the handling, the panache. Two tries against Ireland, a try against France, and one against the Scots. Casilio will feed a purring pack, all in blue. Again, waiting for a penalty call that would not come. But Pucciariello gets the ball out wide. Look at the offload, it's delicious stuff. Italy in full flight. Italy irresistible. He entertains. Scotland will be really disappointed at the way they've finished this match, but you cannot take it away from the Italians. They have put on a performance in this second half and they have made it really difficult for Scotland to do anything in defence like they've done in the first half. They have absolutely relished this last 40 minutes. Absolutely, and everyone plays rugby because they want to have fun and they enjoy it. That's why it means so much. And you can see on their faces, every single try, you've got everyone celebrating, which is just, it's so nice to see. And you can see everyone's got each other's back and they're all clapping for each other, cheering for each other and celebrating the wins. And that's what's massively important in the game. Well, that sums it up. From the touchline, through with the sticks, and Italy's Tyro's triumph in Treviso. That's four in a row over Scotland. And they've set themselves up with an unmissable Cardiff clash as they seek a record-equaling third win of the campaign.